lot of the figures you're going to see are from oh Mr. Connor's oh, original oh, collection. Oh, so we have some that are absolutely they are very good. Well, they do look very good for their age because every now and again we send them over to the cabinet. Yeah, yeah. And they come back looking like they're fifty. <laughs> joke, joke, laugh, laugh. That's all it is. I got you. <laughs> Hi, guys. So, but now what I do want you to notice as you go through the hair on the head and facial hair, human hair. Put in one strand at a time. Oh, yeah, it is. But it's very interesting to watch. Those eyes are true medical prosthetics, so it does give that very real look. They look like they follow you. Yeah. That's normal. Now, if the body's following you, run very fast. Okay. <laughs> and technically, it can take an artist anywhere from three to five hundred pounds to complete just a from start to finish. It can take them anywhere from six to eight months of work up to a year to have a real food. Now, these wonderful people in here have a wonderful clothing budget or costume collection that we know of the open Exactly. But yeah, I wish I had that. But now I will tell you when you get back to the royal families and your jewels and jewels are not real, don't be tempted. You know even where they're at. Now, like I said, Mr. Potter wanted to teach history, so 90% of the figures are the world history figures. The good and the bad world leaders, the inventors, the writers, the composers. Yep, we got a little sports in Hollywood, fantasy, and horror. But it is mostly those people that have brought us all the stuff that we've got to go around the day. So I'm going to turn you loose. There's no right or wrong way to go to the museum. You do it at your own pace. And when you end up in our casting room, at the end, there's actually a video that you can watch that shows the process of making the mm -hmm. Now the, big, the process that they used back in 1949 is the same process. So guys, go have some fun. Learn a little history. We'll see you in a little bit. Britney Spears. There's Britney Spears, guys. <coughs> we got Sympathy. So we got Stephen Foster. We got George Finnick Handel. Who is this guy? Claude Deboos. Okay, that guy freaks me out a little bit. I just feel like... I don't know why. Frederick Chopin. Oh. I gotta be careful of the music around here. <laughs> These wax kind of freak me out a little bit. Oh look guys, we have Elvis. American singer, we all know who Elvis is. Very <laughs> right. Oh, this is Albert Einstein. Henry Ford. Oh man. <laughs> okay, look at this. Wow. Uh, Graham Bell. They're 
eyes do look so real. No, I'm already freaking out. Oh man. Because <laughs> I feel like they're staring at me. Alexander Graham Bell. Oh, just George Washington Carver. Oh wow. Look, American Sharpshoot Sh star, Buffalo Bill Wild West Show. And you, of course, you got your Buffalo Bill. They look so real. So the lady said the hair is actually made by human hair. And they did one piece at a time. And oh, God. I feel like they're going to move on me. I thought I had somebody watching this there. I feel like they're watching me. Look how long their hair was. Yeah, I know. Daniel Boone and David probably had a lot of hair. You freaked me out. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Look at this one right here. Just go look at it. Get in front of him. Look at that. It's vulnerable. Oh, his noses. I just noticed his nose. And we got Harry Potter. You guys know. Oh my god. Oh my god. We got Dobby. They look possessed. Oh, Tiger Woods. <laughs> you know, he's the one that got into an accident recently. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm just waiting for them to grab me. What's this guy? Luis Passio. French chemist and microbiologist. Create the first vaccine for rabies and anthrax. Hmm. This guy right here. So, this girl is Marie, <laughs> Polish physic and chemist, Nobel Prize in physics, 1903. Cause of death was a plastic anemia. A plasty anemia was his death. Complications from a stroke. So you had a stroke. Oh, you're a real person. <laughs> I said you're a real person. <laughs> Did I scare you? <laughs> Yo, know, I'm just expecting them to like jump out you. <laughs> I know, they all look so real. Yeah. Florence Nightingale, I remember about her. English social reformer and founder of modern nursing. Look at her. Look how real that is. Even, oh man, I just keep thinking they're gonna move on me. Sam Houston, American pol uh, pol uh, pol politician, I can't freaking read today. Politician and soldier, seventh governor of Texas. Best known for his role in bringing Texas to the United States as a constituted state. Cause of death? Huh. And then we got. American presidents and first ladies. We all know who that is. And who that is? How about this guy? Do you know any of these? <laughs> okay. Well, you got Abraham Lincoln back there. What? Well, of course, they're going to find faces because you're Andrew Jackson. This is the first one. Then you got Abraham Lincoln. Third one is Mary Todd Lincoln, wife of Lincoln. First lady, so that's her right there. Okay, next will be Richard. No, Nixon. No. 36th President, Moy. Pat. died there for a second okay cut that part out um 36 president it's lloyd so that's guy back there on next is pat nixon and then it's richard miles nixon who's that guy dwight eisenhower theodore resident somewhere i'm getting mixed up on these things but 
And they got Franklin Delano Roosevelt. John Fitzgerald Kennedy. Harry Truman. Isn't that the guy in the chair? I don't know. George W. Bush. 43rd President of the United States. That's George Bush. That has to be Truman right there. Lady Bird Johnson. It's on this side. Oh, look, we have M the gem. Oh, what? I need a dollar. I found the um, hat. Um, I don't have hat. a dollar. I don't have any cash. <laughs> and they got Patriot and Founding Fathers. Here's the Constitution. Benjamin Franklin and, you know, all those, John Adams, George Washington, Nate Hale, and Jeff, Tom Jefferson. Don't they look like they're just staring at us? Like, it's freaking nuts. Yo, what up, guys? Yes, I'm wearing a mask in here, you know, for protection. And we're at the Potter's Museum. Potter Wax Museum. And these dolls are really old. Our wax is really old. And yeah, it's been crazy so far. I'm freaking out. I keep thinking they're gonna jump at me. And we got Patty from the G team down there. We have Cassandra over there with her husband and her daughter here, which is Allie. And we got Barack in here somewhere. And of course, we got Emma the Gem right there from PDX Paranormal. What's that? Here, here. You see, Jim? We gotta follow her. She's on a mission right now. She's on a mission, guys. Let's see what she's doing. The sorting hat. Holy crap. Oh, we'll both do it. I don't want to do it. Why? Because it's gonna tell me wrong. <laughs> we'll do it. I'm gonna do it. Okay, you gotta hold mine. Okay, Emma's gonna hi. Can Emma's I go with mine first or yours? Go for it. Oh, yeah, Emma's I'm gonna go it. find out. Okay. You are Aquarius. Aquarius. Have you ever wondered why the smart people seem to have all the questions? <laughs> and the not so smart people seem to have all the answers. Yeah. You my smart friend must have lots of questions. Beware, you are about to lose your heart. Cupid has plans to find her poom to harpen you. You'll find yourself giddy as a kitten. But you'll know that your love is true only under following conditions. That air smells like lilacs and cotton. Your house smells like lilacs. Yeah. Um, your best friend approves of the match. And the mother of your lover is a Virgo. But these conditions are not met. Eat lots of chocolate and go to the movies. Well, I don't know what Mel's mom is. Okay. Okay, M's turn now. So it doesn't tell you where to go. No, that's what I thought, but... My, what an interesting person you are. I say, it's your role. Yours alone. Others may walk along with you. But no one can walk it for you. Safe journey. <laughs> Teddy. Scarlet ribbons, crimson satin, claret wine, and red red rubies. Yes, red is your lucky color, especially in your life's finer objects. Wear red on Mondays and eat apple sugar as your cherries. This will improve both your health and your life. Someone with the first initial M would like to know you better. Play again and I'll tell you more. <laughs> That's kind of cool though. Thank you. Yeah. I can't see it, guys, but there you go. But that's what I got. Freeze the screen, read it, screenshot it. What do you want? Yep, that's what it is. Now I'm blurry because there you go. Okay, we gotta go back since we were on a mission earlier. Because Anne made me go on a mission. Let's go back to where we were. <laughs> okay. This guy got Beethoven. That's Beethoven. 
I gotta be careful because the sound in here. I don't know how I'm getting in trouble with the sound. You, here we go. You, these are the Civil War. UCL Grant, Lou Warrant, uh, PGT, which is private, uh, Bodegar, Stonewell, I could be wrong. I don't know what PGT is. I know what PVT is, private. I don't know what PGT, I'll have to ask my wife. She's smarter than me while she was in the military. Stonewall Jackson, um, Robert E. Lee, we know that names and stuff. This is pretty cool, look at that. I'm sorry, they're freaking me out, so. <laughs> what is this, Sir Francis Drake? Amazing. English sea captain, privateer, navigator, slaver, poli uh, politician. I don't know why I keep having problems with that word. So what did he do? Englishman sacked and burned Spanish saints. He wouldn't for raise the town. However, lacked significant forces to establish. English Drake left the sea. Cause of death? Deceit. What is that word? That's his cause of death, guys. I'm sorry. I'm bad with words. He was buried at the sea, man. This guy right here, he led an unsuccessful attack on Spanish St. Augustine. Cause of death is unknown. All Saints Church, London, England. This guy. Pedro Mendes de... Yeah, I can't read Spanish names very well, guys. Oh, blah, 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 blah. He died of indi indigestion. How? Oh, I'm confused by that, but let me know. He's my cousin. Because people say I look like him. I pull my hair back on. I'm like, my cousin, bro. Look at that guy. Oh, he's Seminole leader during the Second Seminole War. The United States tried to remove the tribe from their lands in Florida. He was captured when he went for peace talks near St. Augustine and initially imprisoned at the Casa de Lo de San Marcos and called Fort Mayor Maroon. Cause of death, infection from malaria. Wow. Here's Martha Luther King Jr. Ooh. The Middle Ages. Joan of Arc. Alfred the Great. Edward of Woodstock, aka the Black Prince. Richard I, aka the Richard the Lionheart. John I of England. Look at it. Do, 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 do. Can you imagine if somebody was talking in it? They started me talking. I would freak out. This exhibit is temporarily closed. New exhibit. Please excuse our appearance in the meantime. King Cleopatra, guys. There's King Cleopatra. Oh, there. Then you got Mark Anthony and Caesar. Right there, Caesar. Yeah, Mark yeah. Anthony. I said, so yeah, I'm a Libra. <laughs> Charles mm. Ernest Hemingway. Let's go check out. Funny the, they're visiting her ex husband, her ex husband, yeah. and her future husband. Yep. Yep. They have some that smexy that men back there. What about women? Yes. Is there any sexy women? I have a serious question. Hey, that far back, I really got one of the sexy okay. men now. 1400s, 1100s, things like that. Hey, hey there Look you go. That. And I got his penny in my wow, pocket. Look at that. Wait, wait, wait. There you go. Yeah. There's her. There's her man. Oh, this Elvis? This museum is very haunted, guys. You never know. One of these things yeah. might move. <laughs> oh, I've been expecting it already. <laughs> I swear I jumped. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Naive skies. Sharp. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Look at that. Oh. I know a few, few real people that are like that. They wear two faces. Look at that. Look at that. Two faces. 
Lots of eyeballs. I don't know. I'm watching everybody. Dun dun dun. <laughs> it got blurry on the eyeballs. Oh. The two faces, guys. Dr. Jekyll and Dr. Hyde. We're going into the horror. The mummy. Harry Potter, did you? Yeah. Um, it freaked me out. <laughs> Freddy Krueger, guys. Remember, don't fall asleep. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Sim Jackson, 1906 of St. Augustine. Sim Jackson was sentenced to hang in the county jail in 1906 for the brutal murder of his wife. Asked by the doctors to be part of the medical experiment, Jackson used hang, hand signals to let the doctors know how long a young man remained conscious. It looks, it took 14 minutes for Sam Jackson to die. For the complete story listed, of this last public hanging, please visit the old jail museum, which we we did yesterday. So they talked about him. But he, look at that. He has this. So 14 minutes it took for him to die. Horrible. Missing lovers. Look at that. <laughs> so Captain Abella and Doris Dolores in 1784, Colonial Grace uh, Garcia Martin became commander of the Calas Castillo de San Marco Fort. His young wife Dolores began an affair with Marty Handsome assistant. Oh, she it. Soon after the lover's mystery disappeared, about almost 50 years later, in 1983, or 1833, an American lieutenant noticed a hollow sound in a wall of the Castellago dungeon. He took down the wall and discovered two skeletons chained together in a hidden room. It is believed those two skeletons were Captain Avila and Dolores. Can you imagine, like, dying that way? Just, like, in a dungeon? That just, that's nuts. Oh, look. Mel will love this right here. Can anybody guess what this is? Um, what these are? It's Star Wars. Oh look, Jar Jar Blinks, Yoda. You got um, that's a young, young guy. What is his name, guys? Anakin. And then you got Darth Vader. Then you got um, C three P O. And then you got R D D two. And I don't know who that guy is, I don't remember that guy, but that guy was like, I guess, part of him, like the slave owner, and this guy becomes him. If you haven't seen the movie, I just ruined it all, sorry. I get the faces on the wall here. Men, women, I'm guessing that's a bathroom. <laughs> is this a real bathroom? I think so. <laughs> Okay, last folks, you guys. I am seriously out of here. Thank you. Em is not really leaving because she's becoming one of the wax. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna statue. Here. We have a new wax statue today. Her name is Emma the Gem. And now she belongs to the Wax Museum. 
Dun dun dun. Oh no, I'm Star Wars. <laughs> now, never watched it. Where we got like Yoda. That's the crazy one. Creepy. That's coming like this way. How did you go? Quick tour. <laughs> and now we're going to go see some. You're not allowed to go anywhere. This is the bathroom. Yes, it's oh, the bathroom. Oh, that's right. Oh. It's like Hotel California. <laughs> You're never allowed to leave. Oh, right here, guys. Right here. Same way in, same way out. Mm -hmm. No, this is a different one. Johnny, well, it's a different way, but you can go out this way. Yes. Well, yeah, I'm saying this is the last room. Oh, yeah. Got it right here. Okay, come this You got Johnny Depp. There you go. There's, there's your husband. I know. That's what I said. That's oh. <laughs> here, here, get a picture of me in here. You know, this is. Hold on. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this wax museum. So if you're ever in St. Augustine, you should come down here. It's kind of freaky, and um, I was expecting to for them to jump, but um, until I go over this footage, you never know what we could catch. It could be something paranormal, because this place is haunted. So I'll see you guys. Peace. Yo. Let's see, can you see me? Yep. So we're at the castle now, Castillo de Marcus. No, it's okay, I want to keep walking because the music. <laughs> so we're at that, the castle, the fort here. And, um, you know, it's pretty interesting. There's a band here, I might have to try to mute the sound but hopefully they don't get a copyright claim but um yeah we are with M from PDX Paranormal you better check her channel out what are you doing what are you doing I'm trying to find my mic and she's, try, and she's trying to find her mic <laughs> of course we're Patty with the G team right back there and Cassandra she's pretty cool She's awesome. You guys are ready to explore this place? Cause you know, I am. I'm calm now, relaxed. I don't feel anything threatening. So this should be interesting. Let's do this. Look at you guys. So, they have those holes up here. If you can see, that's my shadow. But the holes up here, they're actually cannon holes from the enemy. So look at this, there's so many of them. The bug fly up there. There's I guess they make their weapons or something. And in the gym's over here. She's gonna do some EVPs, huh? So make sure you go over there and check it out, guys. This is bright light. That's not shining on my light. And there's my shadow. I'm not going too far from them, but... But we're just gonna walk over here for a second, just. I think I might do the Necrophonics app today. Okay. I'm 
me see if I can communicate with the fort. Let me put my back here, guys. Powering on. Welcome to Alltech Lansing. We're going to do the Necrophonics this time. Because I did the, um, um, let's see. Give me one second, guys. I'm coughing, you know. Sometimes I can't find my apps that I want to find. See if I can connect it. Oh, it's a Bluetooth. Um, let's see. I think I can connect it to my. Powering on. Welcome to Alltech Lansing. Okay, we're just gonna do without it, cause. Hello. This is Rebecca here. Can I speak with somebody that was in this fort? Did you die here? How many people have died in this fort? <laughs> Did, uh... The soldiers that fought toward this fort, did you pass away here? Did you attack this fort? How did you die? Did you like the fort? Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Give me a second. 